everybody. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Uh, live on location, I guess you could say, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley at the Skyfire offices. Uh, some of you might be familiar with Skyfire. If you like to do things like, I don't know, watch video or look at Flash content on your mobile phone, others of you might be watching this thinking, I didn't think I could watch Flash on my phone. Well, you can if you use Skyfire. And uh, I'm here with Ethan and Robert from Skyfire, who are going to take us through some of the new features in the new uh, 0.9 beta release of Skyfire. Just came out this morning, available as a free download over on skyfire.com. And uh... we're going to get a demo now of some of the new streaming video and web browsing features. So let's say we wanted to take a look at a YouTube video. So I've just opened up filters here. You can see the favicons of all of the services that I currently have running. And so I just want to take a look at YouTube. So I select just YouTube. And now the YouTube content is filtered. And let's say I want to see the Taiwan Lantern Festival. That looks interesting. Now while that's loading, I see the green H in there. Is that Hulu? That is Hulu. Okay, so it's not just a custom, or it's not even a custom YouTube client, but this is actually streaming web video off the web. That's right. That's exactly right. So I could, uh, like, so, like Alec Baldwin wants me to do, I could turn my brain to mush watching Hulu via Skyfire on my mobile phone. Exactly. So let's see if I can get this touchpad to actually do this here. But So you see the video loaded like right away, which is yeah. fantastic. Um, I'll just do a manual zoom here instead of playing with this touch screen. There you go. So this is a full widescreen. <laughs> full, see, it's real, kids. It has the ad and everything <laughs> <Yeah>. on there. <laughs> so this is running off, uh, in this case, Verizon's Evdu network. But again, it's just a, a standard Windows mobile smartphone running Skyfire, and it's showing the video content, in this case, off of YouTube. But uh, so Skyfire handles Flash, and I believe you said that this latest release handles Flash 10? Correct. So, live streaming video off the web through your web browser, it is possible, no matter what Apple and Adobe say. Okay, good. Hi, it's Robert from Skyfire. Um, what I want to quickly demonstrate is actually how we improved in 09 version of um, Skyfire the ability to read text. Um, Ethan just showed how nicely we integrated Facebook, Twitter, and other RSS feeds. What I want to show is that if you go to actually a page or a site that has a lot of text, uh, for example here, a uh, Google article, if you click through, um, you will find that we improved the way that text is displayed. So if you are in an article and uh, you see the nice camera corners that shows exactly where you land once you zoom in, so you could zoom into this image, or in, here into the article, once you zoomed in, it fits right in the screen and we did some modifications to the page to make sure that the text is big enough that once you zoomed in, you can read it perfectly without having to scroll horizontally. And that really makes uh, the experience of reading blog articles, you know, phone doc, for example, or news articles on, uh, on Yahoo or anything, a much better experience. So it looked like the, the browser is programmed to kind of, I don't want to have sense is too strong of a word, but to recognize where there's a big block of text, uh, like that one column of text, and then it kind of formatted that text when you zoomed in to fill the page, Correct. or to fill the screen, rather. Correct. Yes. And we make it in such a way that it works for all the different screen resolutions that we support. Okay, so you can kind of, so no matter, and, and you can see now we were on the Omnia before, now we're on a, a Palm Trio, which yep. has a different screen size, different resolution. So you're looking at a Yahoo News page, Yahoo and you News. can kind of scan over the article. See the little camera corners, so we just zoom into the width of the article, and there we go. There you Scroll go. up and down. Makes it just a fantastic experience. And then while you're you're scanned in, you can still do normal web things. You can scroll, you can click on links, you can do oh, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So it's still the page as it is before, and you know. So there we go. Can zoom in further. Very cool. Now, if people want, if people have a zoom a phone, out. a smartphone, and they're wondering if they can get Skyfire, uh, what do they what do they need? Will it work on only Windows mobile phones? Uh, we support Windows Mobile, pretty much all screen resolutions, uh, and Symbian. 
And if you want to get it, the quickest way is just to point your browser, your mobile browser, to get.skyfire.com, and it is just one click away. And how much does it cost? Absolutely nothing. We always like to hear that. All right. Robert, thank you, and uh, Ethan, thank you. And from the Skyfire offices, checking out... Uh, Oh man, uh, yeah. nah, that's right. We didn't get your reminder on the screen there. <laughs> Checking out the the news, Bernard Madoff. I don't even want to. You don't need to hear that. We'll stick to good news for now. I'm Nor from PhoneDog.com, from uh, Mountain View, California. Checking out Skyfire 0.9, and uh, like the man said, you can get it for free right now at get.skyfire.com. <laughs>